I'm Sydney Kalanison, and I'm with Christian Carpio, and we're doing our presentation on the Constitution Party. So a little bit of background history is that it was originally known as Taxpayers Party, and it was founded by Howard Phillips. They changed the name because it showed a better reflection of the returning government. For their mission statement, they were focused on the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. They had seven basic principles, and one of them was being pro-life. They believed that human life started from conception to birth, and they had state sovereignty and religious tolerance, which enabled them to have a more expensive country in which it would have more diversity. And for family, they believed that one husband and one wife, as stated in the Bible, was divinely instituted. They had foreign policy, and the Constitution's party platform was the Bill of Rights. And for property, they believe that personal property was private. Some of the key issues, for example, is education environment. They believe that their students or kids should be allowed to have other options for education, like under circumstances. Like if they're religious, they would have to be able to go like a Catholic school or a Christian school. As for healthcare and taxes, the Constitution Party opposes Obamacare and supports the tort reform, and they believe in freedom of choice of practitioner. In terms of Social Security and welfare, we promote private retirement, pension programs, Social Security program, support organizations to fulfill personal needs, and no to subsidizing welfare. In terms of budget and economy, we promote debt-free money system, prohibit fractional reserve banking, and repeal Federal Reserve Act. And this concludes our presentation.